Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm I'm Koji Kyoda uh, at the Bikin BDR from uh, Japan. And today uh, I will talk about the data format BD5 and open data format for representing the quantitative biological dynamics data. A recent progress of live cell imaging technology can capture spatial temporal dynamics of biological phenomena as 3D time lapse microscopy images. Uh, for example, this is a, a movie of nuclear division dynamics in fish embryo measured by the Philip Keller. In the late of 1990s, uh, bioimage informatics uh, was emerged uh, as a subfield of bioinformatics. By using bi bioimage informatics technique, uh, we uh, XYZ coordinates data of biological objects such as nucleus uh, can be obtained from uh, the microscopy images. And many research groups uh, obtained various kinds of quantitative data of biological dynamics such as nuclear division dynamics in worm and fly and fish and the cellular morphology and one behaviors. These data are openly available online at their groups or institutes website or database. However, uh, they used uh, different data formats to describe their data. Our data includes XYZ centroid of each nucleus and crack codes for representing contour of the nucleus in text file, whereas Keras data includes centroid of each nucleus and featured related feature data for the nucleus in binary MATLAB file. Because of their uh, intricate data structure and the lack of detailed explanations for of their formats, it is often difficult to use their data. To solve this problem, uh, we developed uh, open unified formats for representing quantitative data of biological dynamics. An open uni and the unified data format has some advantages for data analysis and tool development. And data providers can apply tools that are compatible to the format for analyzing and compar comparing their data and the data provided by the other research groups. And the tool de developers can use data de described in the format more efficiently in developing and evaluating their software tools. We first uh, developed BDML, a biological dynamics markup language, and XML-based data format for representing uh, spatial temporal dynamics of biological objects. In BDML, uh, detected biological objects such as molecules and cells can be described in five uh, basic uh, entities, point, line, face, circle, and sphere. And the BDML has advantages of human and machine readability and flexible uh, extensibility. The latest version of BDML represents spatial temporal dynamics of biological objects ranging from uh, molecules to uh, cells to organ whole organisms. However, uh, it is difficult to access a large set of quantitative data because XML, XML needs to be led sequentially. And to solve this problem, uh, we developed 
we next developed uh, HDF5-based data format named BD5. And BD5 has one container named data group that contains scale unit, object def, and feature def data sets for describing the metadata and the numbered groups such as time series data and track info for tracking data sets. And core data uh, such as coordinate data are stored in object group and uh, feature data are stored in feature groups. Uh, this is an example of uh, warm embryogenesis data uh, published by uh, the US group. They detected nuclei as a sphere from confocal uh, microscopy images. And in object def, uh, there is one feature, uh, one object nucleus. That is the detected biological object in this experiment. In future def, uh, there is one feature, total GF signal, that is the feature related to the nucleus uh, measured in this experiment. In scale unit, XYZ uh, scale and unit is defined. These uh, X and Y scales represent micrometer per one pixel, and Z scale uh, represents the thickness of thickness between the adjacent uh, focal planes. The nucleus is represented as sphere. Uh, its X, Y, Z values represent the center of the nucleus, and the radius is also described in this data set. And we first uh, compared file access time uh, between XML and HDF5-based file, files. Uh, we measured the time for uh, accessing a coordinate data at a randomly selected time point in the BDML and the BD5 files by using a program uh, written in Python. The access time of HDF5-based uh, files were consistently uh, faster than those of the corresponding XML-based files. So uh, BD5 uh, enables fast ac faster access to quantitative data uh, for further analysis. And we next uh, compared the disk space requirements by comparing the size of uh, BDML and the BD5 files. We found that the BD5 format reduces the file size by uh, 80% in comparison with the BDML format when the data are large. Therefore, the BD5 format enables, uh, in theory, a faster, faster transfer of large data to and from computers within the network. Okay, and uh, recently, uh, European groups uh, have developed uh, next generation file, file format, NGFF, for storing bioimaging data in the cloud. They provided a ZAR based experimental implementation of NGFF uh, named OM is ZAR. An image data set uh, is a set of image arrays and 5D, XYZ, time, and channel image data can be stored in chunks. A large array can be randomly accessed in chunks within the OMEZR uh, format. And the OMEZR can also handle uh, not the image data, but also image segmentation data as labeled images. So uh, we would like to support uh, this format by finding a way to store position or coordinates of biological objects, their features, and tracking information in the 
So uh, to store data, including the centroids and features and tracking information, uh, we use uh, N data. Uh, and data is a Python package for handling annotated data matrices in memory and on disk. Data separated into several matrix arrays, such as X and OBS and OBSP. Uh, the uh, coordinate data can be stored in X and Observation annotations can be stored in OBS, and the pairwise annotation of the observations can be stored in OBSP. In data matrix X, uh, each row uh, represents uh, TZ, uh, Y, X coordinate of each biological object. And in OBS array, uh, we can store feature features of each biological object such as uh, id of the object and entity type or uh, signal intensity of fluorescence so uh, the numbers of low and uh, columns in an uh, obsp uh, matrix are equal to uh, the number of uh, biological objects so it can be used to represent uh, the tracking or connections among uh, biological objects. So uh, this is an example of a BD ZAL file for representing uh, quantitative data of a nu nuclear division dynamics in early warm uh, embryos. And the data consists of image data and the segmentation data of nuclear regions and uh, centroids of nuclei and their tracking data. And segmentation data are stored as uh, image masks and they are stored as labeled images uh, within, within the, uh, the OMEZR format. The data matrix, matrix X uh, corresponds to the centroids of uh, nuclear, uh, centroids of each nucleus. And OBS array uh, is used to store uh, their IDs and cell name, volume, and sphericity, etc. The tracking information is stored in uh, OBSP. Uh, array. So data can be uh, visualized with Napali image viewer. The Napali is an interactive and multi-dimensional image viewer for Python. You can see the microscopy images with Loi annotation and the tracking uh, data. And to share the bioimaging data, uh, we developed uh, SSBD database. Uh, in this database, uh, quantitative data and uh, uh, microscopy image data are stored and shared within uh, with rich metadata. And currently, all uh, quantitative data is shared in HDF5 format BD5. Okay, this is a summary and we have uh, developed uh, BDML and BD5 uh, based on the XML and HDF5 uh, format for representing uh, quantitative biological dynamics data. And compared with BDML, the BD5 format has two advantages and first First one is uh, faster access and the retrieval of quantitative data. And the second is uh, smaller file size, resulting in the faster transfer of files in large data sets. And uh, now uh, following the current development in the bioimaging community, uh, we are working on developing a ZAR based format that are functionally compatible with uh, BD5, HDF5 based uh, format.
So uh, this is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Um, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Yes, there is. <clears throat> Thank you for the nice talk. Uh, do I? Uh, do I assume correctly that when you made uh, the uh, BD5 description, it was not just a yeah. hierarchical description of, as far as you recall, objects and uh, features or something, uh, but yeah. you also have some descriptions of what they are. Uh, do you have it in a manual or how do you store these descriptions? Yeah, uh, currently, uh... I do not prepare the you know, how to describe the metadata, so I, 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 I think that uh, yeah, uh, I think I should prepare the how to describe the metadata for data itself. The reason why I'm asking is because uh, both these, uh, the BD5 structure and the also hierarchical structure of the uh, of the BZ, BDZR, as you, <coughs> as yeah, you yeah. It, they seem very similar in, in functional uh, tree-wise, and it's also very similar to, to the Nexus format. Uh, the thing what I was missing here, and it's maybe only missing just from the slide, is that for each item, uh, I assume there is also a description of what these field, different fields are. So even someone who is not on the field can go there and read it and can understand. Uh, uh, you, you, you mean the, uh, the structure of BD5 and BDZAR is different or not? So what, what I mean is that uh, if, uh, if I see the file itself, then I see some keys uh, and then some values. And the question is, is there any way how I can read what the different keys mean, or I should just know it because it's so obvious? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I, 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 I don't know that. Catch your question. Sorry. Uh, uh, OK, maybe we can just discuss it in the break. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, thank you. There's another question here. Okay, this is Titi. Uh, so uh, can you show there the XML structure actually that you had? Or like, uh, yeah, the XML itself. So so uh, this example that you show here, it's quite inefficient, uh, like storage wise, right? That you have for every point, you, you have a lot of extra text there. Uh, did you actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, manage to solve that by some binary format, or uh, is is it like the, the really the format that you use? Uh, currently, uh, we uh, 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 currently uh, uh, we used uh, X, X, a BDML uh, for the uh, metadata description, and uh, I we uh, used uh, HDF5 based format for representing data itself. That is a current strategy to describe the uh, yeah, metadata and the data itself. OK, uh, thanks for the answer. Just a remark then from my side, because I also uh, it rings a bell for me from, from the astronomy side. This looks very similar to actually the view table, like the virtual observatory uh -huh. table. Uh, I'm not sure whether you are actually aware of that. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I will just post you a link uh, so so you can check it out. Uh, they they have uh, like uh, this uh, already going on for tens of years, so it's pretty mature format for transferring data actually. So uh, I will just post you there so so you can have a look. It's very similar to what I see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any any other questions? Thank you. No, then. Thank you um, very much for question. your presentation. Sorry. <laughs> oh, um, okay. oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, so I'm actually working with a Philip Keller's lab on um, the <laughs> of microscopy data, and 
uh, you know, obviously I'm here, I'm trying to work on this uh, proprietary format issue. Um, and I mean, I think in our field, NGFF is uh, probably leading the way, although I think acquiring directly into SAR uh, would be problematic. There's just too many files to be efficient. Um, and so I, I'm curious on kind of what, what do you think would be best in terms of uh, an image format? Uh, for you in, in the future. Um, from my perspective, it, the future looks like some kind of hybrid between NGFF, but probably still in, in HDF5. Um, I'm just curious to kind of what would be most helpful for you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, so, sorry. Uh, what is the main main point of your question? So sorry, oh. I, I I do not understand. So what um, what format should we use for image data? Yeah, currently uh, I used uh, ZAR based format, but uh, yeah, OME team uh, will uh, develop the. Uh, not only the dar based format, but also HD5 based formats. Therefore, the uh, I uh, I we 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 will uh, prepare the yeah uh, the, uh, we 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 should share the image data uh, as not only the uh, dar based format, uh, but also the HD5 based format. And honestly speaking, the uh, the structure of BD is uh, dra dramatically changed uh, from the uh, the structure of uh, BD5. Therefore, the, we uh, may change the structure of uh, BD5. BD5, uh, I, uh, I think. Thank you. Can I answer your question? Yes, uh, I, I'd be interested in, in seeing uh, what direction your formats are heading in so that we, we might be able to cooperate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Thank uh, you.